Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Renninger's Flea Market in Mount Dora, Florida. This is actually voted one of the best flea markets in the United States and it's super close to Walt Disney World. So I figured we'd come out, do a little shopping, try to find some vintage Disney memorabilia or some theme park props and just have a beautiful flea market kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. As I was walking in, I found this little brochure, so I wanted to show you guys uh, Florida's largest flea market. Look at that. And they actually have a gigantic extravaganza that they do uh, the third weekend of January, February, and November. 800 boots indoors and outdoors. And this is a big, big deal. So I'll put all the uh, information in the description uh, so you can check it out if you want. One of my all-time favorite places to buy like theme park props, Recycling the Magic opened up a new booth here and they're usually at the Lakeland Antique Mall which is another one of my favorite spots but I decided I wanted to come out check their new booth out and now I'm blown away. I love it here so much. Like it is so massive. There are so many different places to actually go shop and crawl through and find old things and I'm just excited. I am like so beyond excited for this. When I picture flea markets, this is exactly what I picture. And there's a lot of flea markets where they kind of just sell like dollar store items. And I really don't like those. But this, this is the stuff I'm talking about. This is people's stuff that they had in their basement, in their attics. You know, this is, this is the good stuff. When it comes to filming like flea markets and different thrift stores, I do a lot of browsing. I look around and I try to find items to show you guys on the camera because I don't want to just keep on panning around. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be basically just panning through myself and then pointing things out to you. And uh, it's indoors and outdoors. So we have a lot of, like I said, a lot of cool things to discover. On top of this gigantic flea market, they actually have an antique center here as well. So that's gonna be really fun to comb through. It's also really important to point out that flea markets can always be hit or miss because it changes constantly, always changing. And uh, some things come in new, some things get bought up really quick. Some people like to come first thing in the morning. Uh, you know what I mean? There's all different things. So we'll see what they have here. But also later on in the video, probably uh, at the end, I wanna head back over to the Lakeland Antique Mall because they have a monorail there. They have pieces of a monorail at the Lakeland Antique Mall that I cannot wait to go see. Like how cool would it be to own a piece of the monorail? And I'm talking like, like a tire, like in a door, like stuff like that. Like that's mind blowing to me. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you wait to the end of the video to check that out. Whenever I'm at a flea market, I usually just comb through boots and I look for things that stand out and then I go explore the booth. And this one is just calling my name. I mean, we got James Bond right here. There's a gremlin up here. Look at this gremlin. Look at that. Miss Piggy on a pole. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening there. Steamboat Willie, Marilyn Monroe. Like, yeah. Oh, is that Hellraiser? That is Hellraiser. This is, this is what I like. <laughs> it is extremely hot indoors. Like I said, it's indoor, outdoor, and they have tents and they have tarps and stuff like that, but there's a lot of fans, so we're gonna try to stay cool, but I love this booth right here. That gremlin really caught my attention, and I'm not even sure what this is. It looks like an alligator dragon like steampunk like look at this that is so funny and they have tons of other like little tiny knickknacks <gasps> is this a goofy movie it is a goofy movie <gasps> what i don't think i've ever seen this is this like a, a toy i feel like i need to get this this is so awesome look at goofy and max and they're doing the perfect cast and you reel in a fish that is so cool and there's a couple of them here too Ooh, I love all of these things got the old hercules toys back there from burger king those are really awesome this looks like a really cool Walt Disney photo set right here. And I believe it's from the 25th anniversary. And it's a bunch of pictures of Walt, of course him at the Florida Project. And it says, when does a person stop being a child? Can you say the child is ever entirely eliminated from an adult? I believe that the right kind of entertainment can appeal to all persons, young and old. And I love that, $125. That Walt Disney picture is really cool and it was made exclusively for cast members. So it was a cast member award and there's only a thousand of them. I think that's number 101. So I'm thinking about getting it. It's $125, but I really love cast member uh, like awards. You know what I mean? I think those are so precious and the fact that it's got a thousand uh, LE on it, I think it's kind of cool. But we'll come back. We'll check maybe a little bit later on. 
this is a really cool find right here. This is a little blanket that uh, they gave out for the premiere of Pocahontas. Like, this is really awesome. This was in 1995. The Great Lawn in Central Park, June 10th, 1995. The premiere in the park for the movie Pocahontas. And I would guess that you would, you know, buy or they get to show the movie and you would lay on this. And I think that's so cool. Like, you can actually still see stuff on it. That is such an amazing find. There's no price on it, but I'm actually a little interested in it. Oh, and then also, take a look at this. They have a Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom on ice. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. And you have Tron back here. That is so awesome. That really blows my mind. And Captain Hook, I really love this. I think I might actually buy the Magic Kingdom on ice flag for $15. I mean, it's really cool. You got Tron, Captain Hook. I like that a lot actually. I think one of the coolest things though is the Mickey on Captain Hook's watch right there. Do you see it? That is such a cool interesting flag. I don't even know when it's from but I like it a lot. Right here is an opening day Epcot Center uh, cup. I love this from 1982 and you got a little figment on there and I love how it says Epcot Center and then even on the bottom it uh, says made exclusively for Epcot Center in Japan but this is a really interesting find and I think it's only a dollar. I have officially made my first purchases of the evening. I got the Magic Kingdom on Ice flag and I got the Epcot Center mug and that's such a great deal like not too shabby at all. Looks like we got a life-size Scarface here. Say hello to my little friend. I like that a lot. And then also I noticed that they have some of these classic monsters over here, but they're not for sale. He uh, told me he got them from Universal Studios Hollywood, which that is kind of cool. I don't know where they would have came from, but he has all of them. He has Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and he's not selling them, but the frames are amazing. I mean, these are so awesome. Now I want to take a quick break and head inside and I want to check out my friend Becky's booth. Like I said, Recycling the Magic. She has some really cool vintage Disney things in there. And then we're going to continue shopping around looking at some awesome flea market finds. And hopefully we walk our way, like we buy some really nice stuff. Here is my friend Becky's booth that I was talking about, Recycling the Magic. And look at how they have this amazing like storefront in it. I love it. This is really cool. Main Street toys and a lot of this stuff is all things from Walt Disney World. Some really rare antiques, uh, theme park props, and you guys might have seen uh, her other booth at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Like this right here is a podium from the Emporium <laughs> at Magic Kingdom. Like that blows my mind. And they have tons of really cool stuff. They have old Disney or Mickey Mouse toys and also some like opening day Epcot stuff like this figment hat this is opening day epcot figment hat 1982 125 dollars i love figment wow this is actually really cool too because i own this little mickey mouse piggy bank right here this bank itself but these are the molds they use to make them so you can buy the mold that actually creates them that's crazy, $1,500 for the Mickey Mouse one right here. And then they have a Pinocchio one there. That makes that. And then they have a Dumbo. A lot of really cool things. Even like the little tiny puppets over here. Prince Philip hand puppet. That's the mold that made Prince Philip. Those are so rare and unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Oh, this Mickey Mouse squeak toy. Here's the mold for it. That is, that's something special. Another thing that I always love is like extinct attractions, like things that are no longer in Disney. And I found something that caught my eye that looked familiar and I'm pretty sure it is what I think it is. You guys might remember Alien Encounter at the Magic Kingdom. Here is Skippy, look at this. That is so awesome, isn't it? I'm gonna set him down here. $245 for this. That is such a cool find right there. And then also down here, the bottom of this case, I'm gonna try to sneak in here and show you. Look at this beautiful Walt Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I love that. They keep all the good stuff and a figment hat. The figment hat still got me going. <laughs> That's too cool. Goofy Hat Company. Down here, there's some really cool photos of Pleasure Island. I love this black and white photos. Of course, we have some name tags. Ryan, Dolores, Andy. 
These are all fun. This is actually a dwarf little puppet. It's kind of creepy, but fun at the same time. $595 for that. I like anything old, you know? Here's some more of those molds, too. This is really cool. Is that like Mickey's arm? Mickey Mouse glove doll left art? I don't know. Very interesting. And then some really cool Disneyland signs. This one's from the 30th, and this is 35. I like that. Another really cool thing that I found is kind of something you would never see them selling in the parks today. Look at this Wild Disney's Adventureland picture gun. Wild animals aim and shoot. Load it with exciting full color pictures. This is $65 for this. I mean, it's still in the box too. I kind of really love this. That is really, really awesome. Like, I don't know if they sold those at the parks. I mean, it's Adventureland, but that is, I can't. It really blows my mind and you look through it and you actually see pictures and then down here uh, Most of you guys know like collecting Disney and stuff like that But there is a name for it and it's Disneyana and they have the official Disneyana convention 1993 in Disneyland well now it's basically D23, but that's a really cool sign right there The thing with like old vintage memorabilia is usually it gives way after like a long period of time and one of the things that it's really hard to actually preserve is paper brache and there are tons of old King Cole store displays like Disney store displays that they're selling here and they are like so rare and they're very pricey. Seriously, just think about how hard it is to actually preserve paper mache and look at these up here You have Pluto. This is from the 1930s Pluto for seven thousand dollars Donald Duck Nineteen thousand dollars and then over on this side you have Mickey Mouse right there uh, He must be eighteen thousand dollars. See him up there up there. That is so crazy. I gotta get a closer look here Let me see. Oh No, Mickey Mouse is 13 the Pluto is 18 because I think the Mickey Mouse is uh, an animated window display so it's something different and then look at that Donald Duck there he looks definitely a little bit different this place is so massive like it's gonna take me forever to actually explore all of this and I mean I'm definitely coming back we're gonna have to be making more trips down here but I love it so far I really do love it if you guys want more information about any of the Disney stuff, like I said, here is Recycling the Magic, and you can call Becky, Pat, or Jerry, and I'll put all their information below in case you want to buy any of this stuff. And she has a booth at the Lakeland Antique Mall, and I'm glad she's expanding. I mean, she has a lot of stuff, and now we're just going to browse around a little bit more. Like I said, there is so much to cover here, like, <laughs> and plus I want to hang out outside a little bit more. There was a little bit of a rainstorm that happens in Florida, so that's why I hopped inside. And uh, yeah, maybe it's a little bit drier out. Obviously, I love Disney, but I like a lot of pop culture references and movies. I mean, I'm wearing a Back to the Future shirt right now. I don't know if you guys caught on, but it's a hoverboard, sh a hoverboard shirt from Roosevelt. And you know what I mean? It's just, I love doing this. I love shopping around. Look at all of this down here. Everything from Pee Wee's Playhouse Viewfinder or Viewmaster, Power Rangers. We have old boxes of cereal. I saw a which one called Cornflake Cinderella one over there. Hess trucks. I mean, my mom has been collecting Hess trucks every single year. I wonder if she stopped. And also, what did she do with them? Because she never let us play with them. She, my, my mom always gave us Hess trucks for Christmas. She never let me play with them though, so she always kept them. And she said, I can have them when I'm older. Well, I'm older now, Mom. I want my Hess trucks. I know you watch my videos. <laughs> and then, look it up this. You got a uh, Toys R Us tractor trailer. That's really cool. A lot of Kiss figurines. Shop right. I know it's so hard to actually portray how big this is actually here. But to give you an idea, it's 144 acres. 144 acres. Just think about that. This place just keeps on getting better and better as I walk around. Like, I love seeing all of this stuff. Look at this old school style bathtub. Like, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this before. That's selling for $7,000. Some old Coca-Cola machines. Up there are random boxing trunks from Rocky, signed by Sylvester Stallone himself. And there's just so many amazing things. Man, this is... <laughs> I get so excited going through here. Now 
I think we're gonna hop back outside and explore more of the outdoor flea market. And also I wanna point out that not only is it an antique center, a flea market, it's also a farmer's market. They sell fresh produce like watermelon, cantaloupe, bananas, strawberries, of course, oranges. They have plants here and a couple of places to eat too. So I might actually want to grab something neat. Oh, they sell roasted corn on the cob. That sounds pretty amazing. When I come across boots like this, I instantly transform into a kid again. Look at this. Swords, mask, tons and tons of Nerf guns. Look at it in there. Tons of little action figures, toys, the little plastic animals and dinosaurs. This is like a, a, a 15 year old me dream. I mean 15, I mean I don't know. I played with toys until I was probably 18. But this is great, like I love this. This is like really cool, look at that Hulk. Look at that. Wow, so many Nerf guns. And Godzilla, ooh. And then we got even a wrestling ring up there. Honestly, it's not even about buying things. It's that feeling when you pick something up and you remember having that like as a kid and like getting a memory. That's what I love coming to flea markets and thrift stores for. It's such a great feeling. Before I was talking about how they have some food and it's a farmer's market. I found some chicken on a stick with some stir fried rice. I think I might want to get some of that. Yeah. How you doing? Hi. Can I get a chicken on a stick? Sure. Look at that. That the chicken on the stick looks good. Homemade teriyaki. Oh yeah, some homemade teriyaki, please. Oh. Very good. We get people from all over the country. Yeah, oh, the yeah. world famous chicken on the stick. That's right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're certainly welcome. Now. Very fancy. Oh yeah. Right there. And that's for you. Keep the change. Well, thank you. Thank so you, buddy. Have a great one. A nice relaxing Sunday at the flea market. Got some chicken on a stick. And then also, I'm gonna try some handmade beef empanadas right here. Like, she's actually cooking them up right behind me. Uh, I, I kinda got excited. I wanna try all the food. But here's the chicken on the, the stick with some homemade teriyaki. Ooh. That is a lot of chicken right there. But. I love the teriyaki sauce on there. That's the, I mean, that's the, that's the kicker right there. This is really amazing. I'm so happy that I got this. Had to try some food, you know what I mean? When you're here, you gotta try it. When you're here, you're family. And it's so easy to eat, you know what I mean? So easy, so convenient. Oh, there you go. And like I said, I wanna try some of the homemade beef empanadas that they're making right here. She's actually gonna be making up a fresh batch for me so I can try them. But while we're here, I was just looking around and I found a couple more boots. I, I told you guys, like this place is just so massive. And I, I just love like exploring around. And I notice a lot of things when you see Mickey, uh, I kind of automatically gravitate to it. Like look at this one. This is an old Disney World cup, but it doesn't say Disney Parks anywhere on it. See, I don't see nothing, actually. I don't even know if it's Disney or if it's like a knockoff. But then, take a look at this. It's like an old cookie jar from Mickey Mouse. Gourmet Mickey, I like it. <laughs> Gourmet Mickey. Oh. All right, some homemade beef empanadas. Look at this, she's actually making them up like right there behind me. And very hot, very, very hot. I think she just like took them out. I'm going in for a bite though. But the only thing is, is I don't like biting empanadas on the end here because you don't get the, you don't get the filling. So I'm gonna eat it right down the center. Oh, maybe this way. I'll go this way, and I'm probably gonna burn my mouth. I got the water ready. Here we go. Pop. Oh, ah. huh. That is hot, but it's so good. Look at that beef in there. Oh, I love it. It's hard to find good food like this. Like in like Orlando, like in the city, you know what I mean? Like this is the stuff right here, family recipes. Seriously, I think that was one of the best empanadas I've ever had. Right here, right here at the flea market. So amazing. Uh, 
something else that's really cool to point out because this is florida and it can basically rain at any second it looks like the flea market is basically like kind of set up with tents so you can still kind of enjoy the flea market and, and you know a lot of people in florida just walk around if it's raining anyway but like that is so cool look at all these tents it's like tent city over here just trying to keep my eyes peeled to see if anything pops out and catches my attention. And it's so hard because there's always so much whenever you visit like flea markets and stuff like that. But I kind of I have a good eye. I like to look, get in deep, crawl back there in spaces. You know how it goes. See what goes on in here. Places like this, it's real hot. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Got some Babe Ruth stuff down here. Ooh, we're in a deep hair. <laughs> oh, wow. This is cool. I like it in here. There's a lot of fun stuff. Lots to look into. What's this? Orange Crush? Very fancy. Oh, I'm feeling the heat, though. It is definitely hot in here. Oh, I am feeling this Florida heat. <laughs> July in Florida is no joke. And also, I wanted to point out, if there's something that you're looking for, like, particularly, like, something you want to collect, for me, like, it's Disney stuff and things like that, you can always ask people that run the booth, just be like, hey, what you got Disney? Hey, what do you got comic books? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So it's always good. Always reach out and just talk to them, because they'll help you find things that you might have missed. It's always fun when you're just like looking around and then you spot like random things like that random picture of John Travolta behind the glass there. And we're heading in here. Look at this. <laughs> this is so amazing. I love it. There's a handmade flash sign over there. This is something else, isn't it? And it keeps going on and on. Wow. Everything's cash only too, but they do have ATMs here, so that always comes in handy. Just trying to see if I can catch anything. Let's see what's over here. 50th anniversary edition. Ooh, well, we don't want to look at that. It's a pinup calendar from 1985 to 1986. I'm not really seeing much as I dig through the different tents outside and there are so many of them and it's a little bit later in the day uh, I don't know if I gave you the hours but the flea market itself is open on Saturdays and Sundays the antique center is Friday Saturday and Sunday and I think it closes around four o'clock so a lot of people are packing up for the day and plus there was some rain so that could deteriorate you know deteriorate business a little bit but I am one of those people where I just have to keep looking I just keep on going in and out I have to visit each one I had to make my way back over to where we first started because I decided on getting this. I really do love it. It's produced exclusively for the cast of Walt Disney World, limited edition, 1000. And I just, like I said, I really loved it. I love the fact that they have a photo of the Florida project happening right there in the announcement, 25th anniversary. I think it'd be a great addition to my collection. And it's signed, look at that. Now that we got the Walt Disney frame picture, and I'm so happy, I really wanted to get that. We had to negotiate in the price a little bit, but it's coming home with me. Uh, but now that we got that, we got a couple of good things. I think we're gonna leave here, and we're gonna hop over to the Lakeland Antique Mall. Like I said, I wanted to go check out the uh, pieces of the monorail, and they have a couple of other new things there, so I figured I would just uh, extend the video a little bit more, bring you guys along with me. And here it is, now that we are at the Lakeland Antique Mall, the thing I've been looking forward to most showing you guys in uh, pieces of an actual Disney World monorail, a Mark IV monorail. This is an opening day monorail, and you can buy a piece of it. Isn't that crazy? They have tires, they have doors, escape hatches. This is so awesome. And it actually says monorail on the tires. And uh, this was sold to MGM from the Walt Disney World Company. And if you guys have seen, or you can just Google it, you can look up like monorail in a desert. It, it ended up in the desert. Isn't that crazy? Monorail and it's blue and I love it. Like the tires, you can buy the tires for $12.95. Like that's so cool. The escape hatch, the door itself. I mean, I love this. Walt, sadly, he's not for sale though. But this is this is so cool. Twelve ninety five for this, uh, thirty seven for this, and then the door. 
the panel right here is 14 so 1400 and then 37 for this one i i can't even believe it it, it kind of just blows my mind i have two tires too let me know in the comments like would you buy a piece of the monorail because i think that is the coolest thing out there like if i had a spare twelve hundred dollars i think i would buy a tire i think out of all of them let me know what you would want to buy the tire the door or the escape patch i think the tire is the most like like exciting thing for me a couple of other cool things that they have down here are some of the top of the world lounge uh furniture if you guys have seen recently i visited the new top of the world lounge which is a villain's lair they're actually selling some of the furniture that used to be in there and then a random bench from animal kingdom like it's not so cool i probably sat on this bench many of times here's a little picture of it right here inside the park right there thirty five hundred dollars it's so unique like <laughs> Like, I, I think that's awesome. Here are a couple of cool things from the 20th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. I like this, the Pride of Lacau. Lacau? Lacau? I don't know, but I like it. It's, it's really fancy, especially if you like Animal Kingdom. Where's the dragon? <laughs> Here are a couple of more pieces of furniture from the Top of the World Lounge, including a whole entire table set right here. Look at this. Like, it comes with the... the uh, the chairs and the table and this just looks like the contemporary it's so funny and this is all part of recycling the magic and you can see the pictures here oh what's this back here oh a little walt disney stamp i like that <laughs> they also have this really awesome mickey and co uh lamp look at this this is fancy in 1988 it's really nifty how they find the years and they put them right on there so you can look it up if you need to and <laughs> It's going for $7.95. It's still really cool though. I mean, that's a, that's a fancy lamp. Owning a piece of a monorail is kind of a unique thing, but also there are other things like it's just something like Disney fans like and me myself like in, in particularly just because something is like different doesn't mean somebody doesn't want to buy it. I think it's still worth value. Like for instance, how about a housekeeping cart from the Yacht Club? Like... <laughs> That's something that you can buy. Look at, you got a little Pluto there. And it actually has the way you organize the chemicals on it. Like, you know what I mean? What would somebody really do with this? But, you know, I kind of like it. I would want it. Oh, look, you can put your uh, brooms and mops in there. Like, somebody would want to buy this. Here is another really interesting piece right here. You can see Walt Disney on vacation. It looks like the Coliseum, and this was in uh, backstage. Like So this was for cast members to look at, and it's so cool that it's here. $695. Isn't that so awesome? Walt Disney loved to travel. He was all about it, and he loved cruising too. And then they also have some really cool pieces of a wall from construction at California Adventure. I like this from Buena Vista Street. That's a lot of fun. Another really cool thing is some animatronics from a very popular ride at Epcot. And this is actually really unique because I don't think I've ever seen anything like this for sale before. These little It's a Small World looking dolls actually are from the Grand Fiesta Tour of the Mexico ride when it first opened up. Like, isn't that so cool? And they actually move. That is such an awesome thing to come across. Like, I mean, it's definitely a lot different now, but still, that is amazing. And it looks like they're selling for about $4,300, but holy moly, I really love it. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had so much fun visiting both the flea market and then coming down to Lakeland Antique Mall. How about those monorail pieces? How cool was that? And yeah, I mean, it was such a fun day. This is a perfect Sunday. I feel like Sundays were made for flea markets and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you want any information, I'll put all the information for everything in the description below. And I also wanted to say thank you. Uh, a friend left me a awesome rock and roller coaster MGM Studios baseball at the Lakeland Antique Mall and I wanted to say thank you so much I got it and I love it it was it's it's really so cool and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye